Okay, we're recording. I wanted to make this screen capture for uh, the the programmers for WooCommerce subscriptions. First of all, I really love the subscriptions plugin, and we've been able to build our business um, up to about 120,000 a year part time using this plugin. We sell subscriptions of dog and cat food, and we're really excited about the growth that we're able to experience and all the repeat sales that we get from it. But I had some feedback that I wanted to provide you with um, specific to our business, but I know that you're always trying to improve your products. And so here goes, this is an email that I received from a customer today and she buys cat food and dog food from us. Um, right now she's on a subscription every five weeks. She's on a subscription to get eight pounds of dog food. And you can see here, or I'm sorry, cat food she uh, gets eight pounds of cat food at a time. You can see here though, she wants to change her cat food to two 20 pound bags of the lean formula. And she also wants to receive her dog food um, and cat food now a week early and she, because she's running out of cat food. And so we're gonna oblige uh, Debbie. And to do that, we're going to log into her account. It's the easiest place to do it from. It's a little inconvenient because I have to change her password um, in this particular case, I changed it and she was logged in on her end and so it, it logged her out. But here we are at her My Account section and you can see both of her subscriptions that are active, the lean cat food and the grain-free dog food. And so here's what happens when I try to adjust it and you can see that this is going to go off in seven days. Here's what happens when I try to adjust it to um, what she's asking for. And so the 40-pound bag... And based on her, her cat's eating habits, I know that she's going to need that every three months. So I add that to the cart. And here we are in the cart. I'm going to proceed to the checkout. And you're going to see here's where the um, issue is with the plug-in in our specific type of business. And so I'm not sure if this is something that can be corrected, but this is our feedback. Really, what we'd like for it to do is charge her the entire amount right now and get that going. And it'd be nice if the system recognized that she's somebody who's moving up in weight for her dog food. So, the, so the um, you know that particular attribute went up from eight pounds to forty pounds, and um, you know the frequency. The other the other attribute we're looking at here um, went from every five weeks to every three months. So I'm not even sure if it's possible. It'd be great if we could we could do this. But what I have to do instead is just go to her My Account section. And this is what I normally do. It's just a few extra steps involved. I'll try to be as quick as I can to get through this. And what I do is I just cancel. I just cancel that subscription. And I go ahead and get her a whole new one. And... Um, I'll do the same for the dog food. I'll give her the same subscription for the dog food, but in order for it to bill now, I've got to uh, cancel it out. And so I'm not going to show you that. You know how that works. But um, you know what would be really nice if there was another button here or if there were buttons here where you could change everything and just execute and change it to exactly how they want it. That's probably some custom programming. And who knows if this solution would work for everyone who's using your product subscriptions. But... This is my feedback. I wanted you to see how uh, we're using this plugin as I just canceled this subscription. And now I'll just go back in and renew both of them. But that's what I wanted to uh, pass along. And keep up the good work, guys. Great products. I always recommend them. And hey, if there's an opportunity, I would love to um, do some co marketing here in the Northeast United States for Alpha Dog Food and WooCommerce. Let me know if that's possible.